welcoming you all. I hope you guys are having a great time. You know that it is a known fact that benefits such as easy funding, lower interest loans, privileges under the foreign trade policy and more benefits are available to small scale industries. These benefits are available to one person company and will be helpful in the progress and development of the business venture. And thus, going for one person company registration will be a great option to move ahead. But before we understand more about this registration, let's understand what exactly is one person company. One person company can be incorporated to just a single person who will be the director and owner of the company. This concept was introduced under the provisions of the Companies Act 2013. Further, an OPC, that is a one person company, is a sort of sole proprietorship firm in the form of a company that offers ultimate authority to a single person for running a business while restricting his liabilities and duties for the business. A one person company registration is a forward thinking notion for those who either have entrepreneurial dreams or those who want to incorporate micro businesses but has no resources, time or means to attract more partners for executing the business plan. Now, if you have understood that what is one person company, let's move on and understand the procedure for the registration. And the steps included are right here mentioned for you. Obtain DIN and BSC. In the first step, one needs to obtain a DIN, that's Director Identification Number, and BSC, that's Digital Signature Certificate. After that, reservation of a suitable name. An application in form number INC1 should be filed for the reservation of a suitable name for the concerned company. After that, provisions for the entrenchment. If in case articles of association of the said company contains a provision for entrenchment, the concerned company is then required to inform the registrar regarding such provisions in form number inclusive 2. Once you are done with that, application for the registration of one person company will be done. In order to register a one person company, the promoters are required to apply with the registrar of companies within whose jurisdiction or territory the registered office of the concerned company is proposed to be located. The application for the incorporation must be filed in form number INC2. And after that, signing of MOA, that is Memorandum of Association, and AOA, that's Article of Association of the Concerned Company, shall be mandatory signed by the company's sole member. And then, affidavit of the director and the subscriber is duly signed and submitted by the sole member who has subscribed to the MOA and has been named in the Articles of Association in form number INC. Particulars of the subscribers. The next step is that the sole member must file the particulars of the subscription with the registrar of company at the time of incorporation. Declaration of Professions In the next step, a declaration made either by an advocate, a CA, a cost accountant or CS in practice should be filed in form number INCA. And then, very important step, submission of the forms and documents. Now is the time when all the required documents will be annexed to the SPICE, that's S-P-I-C-E form, MOA and SPICE AOA together with the DSC, that's Digital Signature Certificate of the Director and the same will be uploaded to the MCA, that's Ministry of Corporate Affairs website for approval. And once that is done, issuance of the Certificate of Incorporation will be applied for. Once the verification process is complete, Registrar of Companies will grant the Certificate of Incorporation for the commencement of the business. Now, if you have understood the procedure, let's move on and help you with all the documents required 
So when you sit down and file the application form, you do not have to stop in between or move around. So very first document that you need is the copy of the owner's PAN card, a passport size photo of the concerned owner, copy of the rent agreement, if in case a rented property, no objection certificate from the actual owner and other documents. Now, if you are someone who wants to go ahead with one person company and is still in doubt with the registration, let's understand that what are the benefits of one person company registration in India. No minimum capital required. For obtaining one person company registration in India, there is no minimum amount prescribed for the capital required. However, the maximum authorized capital in the case of a one person company shall not anyhow exceed the threshold limit of these 50 lakhs at any point in time. Fewer compliances. The compliances are to be added to for an OPC registration are very less. No legal disputes. It is significant to note that whenever a company registers itself as one person company, it ends the chances of any future legal disputes between the director or any third party. Of this, right? Privileges for small scale industries. An OPC can avail all the benefits that are offered to small scale industries. And these benefits include easy funding, that too without depositing collateral security to certain prescribed limits, lower interest rate loans, privileges under the foreign trade policy, etc. And besides these benefits, there are some other benefits as well. And you can forever learn about it. Now, right here, I'm sure I can tell you that we are blessed with a team of experts who can extend support in the registration of one person company and help you with the process ahead and will keep you updated and will keep you free out of all the worries. So right here, do contact us on the given details below if you need any help and we'll be right there to serve you. Until then, do like, share and subscribe our videos and channel. And if you need to ask anything, need any information on any other topic, do tell us in the comment box below. Until then, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.